let's do part 2 for lesson number 6 the keyboard open page number 50 special keys now there are four special keys mentioned in your books the first one is enter key enter key is used to move the cursor to next line all right like for example when you write in your notebooks suppose the first sentence is my name is rahul and after that you uh, you want to write a second sentence in the next line so immediately you will switch to the next line similarly if you are typing in computer and after one sentence you want to write the second sentence in the next line then we will press enter key for that okay so you have to press enter key for typing in the next line if you want to type in the next line or you want to come to the next line you have to press the enter key and enter key is also known as return key and there are two enter keys present on the keyboard how many enter keys on the keyboard two all right the first point is enter key is used to move the cursor to the next line then second is enter key is also known as return key and the third point is there are two enter keys on the keyboard okay look at the picture keys in blue color so there are two enter keys on the keyboard okay now children what is cursor cursor is a small blinking line on the monitor cursor is a small blinking line and this is cursor an arrow is showing a cursor on the screen it is a small blinking line okay okay now next is space bar key now what is space bar key the longest key on the keyboard is space bar key and as the name says space bar means space so when we press this key it gives a space so whenever your uh, uh, press this key it will give a blank space there okay wherever your cursor is when you press space bar key it gives a blank space there okay and it is the longest key on the keyboard look at the picture the key in blue color it is longest key and space bar it, it is known as space bar key look it is the longest key on the keyboard okay let me take an example which is given in your book it is very good example so example is if suppose we want to type i love my country okay but if i will not use space bar key then the output will be like this here i have not used my space bar key so my output will be like this if i will not use the space bar my output will be like this but this is not correct we want space after each word so we use space bar key after each word then the output will be like this so first type i then press the space bar key then type love again space bar key then type my again you will press the space bar key and then you will type country then the output will come like this okay so space bar key is used to give a blank space 
नेक्स्ट ऑन पेज नंबर फिफ्टी वन कैप्सलॉक की ना वॉट इज कैप्सलॉक की कैप्सलॉक की इज एन ऑन ऑफ की लाइक रिटर्न की इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एंटर की इज ऑल्सो नोन एज रिटर्न की सिमिलरली कैप्सलॉक की इज अ ऑन ऑफ की ओके इफ द कैप्सलॉक की इज ऑन इफ इट इज ऑन कैपिटल लेटर्स आर टाइप एंड इफ द कैप्सलॉक की इज ऑफ स्मॉल लेटर्स आर टाइप कैप्सलॉक इज ऑन then capital letters and if it is of then small letters look key in the red color is caps lock key and when it is on capital letters are typed all right and when it is off small letters are typed next key is backspace key key in blue color is backspace key and it is the last key in the row of number keys you all know where number keys are there on the keyboard then the last key on that row that is a backspace key okay and it children it works like your eraser suppose in your notebook you want to erase something you use your eraser right similarly in computer if we want to erase something we use backspace key when you press backspace key it erases the letter to the left of the cursor okay and it is marked with a backward arrow look at the picture in red circle on the screen it is a backspace key and it is marked with backward arrow okay now let's understand this with one example suppose i have typed a word computers and my cursor is after r okay so when i press backspace key now if i will press my backspace key it erases the letter to the left of the cursor so left of the cursor it will erase one letter so if i press backspace key right now so it erase the letter r okay see okay so backspace key is used to erase the letters next is function keys on the same page page number 51 down function keys now keys in blue color are function keys the top most row on the keyboard and they are marked as f1 to f12 f f f means function key and the top most row on the keyboard marked as f1 to f12 and they are function keys okay and each of these keys is used for some specific task the top most row okay now let's move to our next page page number 52 arrow keys now what are arrow keys there are four arrow keys how many arrow keys four arrow keys how many enter keys two enter keys and arrow keys four and they are used to move the cursor up down left and write on the computer screen so one key is used to move the cursor up one key is used to move the cursor down one is for move one is to move the cursor to the left and one to move the cursor right 
all right there are four arrow keys and with the help of these four arrow keys we can move our cursor up down left or right now check the arrow keys on the keyboard keys in red box they are arrow keys now first key with arrow pointing towards up it moves the cursor up okay key with an arrow pointing towards up it move the cursor up next key with an arrow pointing towards down move the cursor down same way key with arrow pointing towards right side move the cursor one character right move the cursor to your to uh, uh, move the cursor to the right side and last key with an arrow pointing left side move the cursor one character left so key with an arrow pointing towards left side move the cursor to left okay so children now we are done with this chapter i request you all to please read the chapter one more time for better understanding and also complete self evaluation part on page number 52 that is your agree and disagree okay it's very easy just read the chapter one more time and you will able to do this agree and disagree okay now we are left with uh, book exercise and question answers of this chapter that we will cover in our next part thank you